What's up and welcome to day number three in the beginner jump rope challenge. Now today we're gonna to be focusing on how to jump rope fast. And so to jump rope fast, you really have to perfect your footwork. So we're gonna talk about what to do when you're doing the jump rope regular bounce, how exactly to jump, and what needs to happen if you're gonna end up becoming a fast jumping jump rope ninja. First thing we're gonna to do today is do a review of what we learned so far. So what we're gonna do is grab your jump rope and we're gonna do two 30 second circuits of jump Jump rope regular bounce. So we're going to focus on what we learned the last couple days, which is of course getting down your rhythm and also focusing on the hand and arm placement. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So for our practice round, we're taking what we learned from yesterday, which is the placement of our hands and our arm, arm excuse me, arm extension, and putting that into practice. So look at Brandon's elbows; they are fully in by his sides. His forearms are jutting out to the sides of his hips in a symmetrical way, and he is controlling the rope with his wrist and his forearms. This is, this is exactly how you want to look. And each day that you guys practice this, you are going to get better. So don't think, you know, if you don't look like Brandon right away that you can't get there, it's just a matter of practicing on a consistent basis. guys last set here before we get into the actual beef of the video but just make sure guys along with the reason we're always doing these little uh, homeworks from the day before is just to get you guys jumping rope more frequently and so that you can get that rhythm down Now that you got that down, you're feeling nice and warmed up, we're gonna move on to talking about how to jump rope fast. All right guys, now we're gonna talk about jumping rope fast. The first thing you'll notice about jumping rope fast is that there's very little leg movement. Now the knees are gonna be slightly bent, but Brandon's toes are coming barely, if you can see here, like an inch, maybe an inch and a half off the ground. So the biggest, most important part of, of doing this, jumping rope fast, is the feet movement of just hopping very slow, but this is where the wrist and the forearms come into play because you need to be able to spin the rope super fast. So notice here how Brennan's choking up a little bit. And by choking up, I mean sliding his hands up the handles a little bit so that the rope is a little bit tighter and thus spins faster. That is the key to being able to increase your speed. So choke up on the handles, guys, and also jump lower to the ground and just, again, practice. Now that you know how to jump rope fast, we're gonna take this for a little test drive. We're gonna do two 30 second circuits of jumping rope fast. So same form, barely coming off the ground, bouncing in between the balls of your feet and your toes. Let's give it a go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do the homework. Let's get into this. Overachievers, I want you doing four sets. Right now we're just doing the first two. Um, but practice skipping the rope as fast as you can. As you can see here, Brandon, is going nice and easy. That's the biggest thing I wanna get across to you guys. Successfully jumping rope is all about doing less. It's not about throwing your arms around and really efforting, I'm using it as a verb here, efforting the rope around. That's not how this works. All Brennan's doing is he has a solid rhythm down. His wrists are basically controlling, his wrists and forearms are controlling everything. And that's exactly how you want it to look. Doing less is how you become successful at jump rope. The little, you know, you want very low impact to the ground. And just basically, like I said before, using your forearms and wrists to, forearms and wrists, excuse me, to control the entire exercise. And as you can see here, of course, guys, this takes some practice, but after doing this for a while, Brandon could probably continue spinning the rope like this for a few minutes straight, just because once you have that rhythm down, it's unstoppable. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Do this homework, repeat it, practice, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching day three of the Beginner Jump Rope Challenge Series. Tomorrow we're gonna to be back again with day number four, teaching you how to work on your posture to perfect your jump rope form.